My name's Staff Sergeant James Evett, and I'm a military working dog handler. I love dogs. I've always, I've always loved dogs. I've always worked with dogs since I was a kid. And that's mainly the reason why I joined Security Forces Career Field, is because I knew I was going to be able to work with dogs at some point. The dog's not a piece of equipment. He's not a tool. He's, he's your partner. He's out there with you every single day that you, you're at work. And the more training and the more time that you spend and put towards your dog, the better you and your dog will be as a team. The minimum requirements to become a military working dog handler, you need to be a Security Forces member, have at least 18 months in service as an Airman First Class, and completed your career development courses. The dog that I have assigned to me right now, his name's Janny. He's a Dutch Shepherd on a day-to-day -day basis. It's really never the same. You can be doing anything from working a checkpoint at a gate, from riding in a law enforcement patrol or detection. Basically, we have patrol dogs and we have detection dogs. This is why the Air Force chooses these certain breeds that we use, whether it's German Shepherds, Dutch Shepherds, Belgian Malinois. They use these type of breeds because we need the dog to be able to attack and we also need the dog to be able to find the odor. So they came to a happy medium between the dog breeds and this is what they came up with. Well, some of the areas of training that we do with the dogs, your first one's gonna be your controlled aggression. From that, I mean, it's it can be anything from finding an individual in a field that's hidden, conducting bite work, whether it's a suspect fleeing from the scene and you release your dog to go bite that individual. And then we also do training such as detection work. So when it comes to actually finding explosives or finding drugs. There's numerous things that you can do being a military working dog handler. I mean, there's times that we're assigned to the Secret Service and then also deploying. We're not always going to be deployed with security forces members. We'll be deployed with other either army units or non-conventional units. Being a military working dog handler isn't for everyone. You have to be able to commit your time um, and your service to your dog. Um, if you can't commit the time to training your dog, then you probably aren't cut out to be a military working dog handler. My job right now is the greatest job in the Air Force.